This is amazing. Now we are going to perform MLX fine tuning. We'll be seeing how to prepare data, how to train your model, how to evaluate your model, and finally upload to Hugging Face. We are going to use MLX package and fine tune with QLaura. MLX tool is used to run large language model and fine tune large language model in your Apple, that is Mac computers. In this, we are going to fine tune Mistral 7 billion parameter model. Without instruction fine tuning, when we ask a question like this, this is how we get an answer. But when we ask a question like this, what is Terence Rose nationality, then we want it to convert to SQL query. So ultimately, converting our questions into SQL query is the goal for this fine tuning. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about MLX fine tuning. We are going to use Wiki SQL dataset. So when a user asks a question like this, tell me what the notes are for South Australia, then it should automatically return this SQL query. Select notes from table where current slogan equals South Australia. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, git clone MLX examples and then click enter. Now navigate to the MLX examples slash LoRa folder and click enter. Now conda create hyphen M MLX Python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Now conda activate MLX and then click enter. Next pip install hyphen R requirements.txt and then click enter. Next you might need to agree to Xcode build license by typing this command if asked to do so. Now we are going to see how it's going to look like without fine tuning. So I'm going to use MLX LM generate and using Mistral 7 billion parameter model and giving this prompt with a question. What is Terence Rose nationality and click enter. There is one more package you might need to install that is pip install MLX LM. After that, click enter. Now you can try before fine tuning how it's going to look like. So you can see the response coming and it is randomly generating the text without providing answer for the SQL query. Now we are going to fine tune this. First step, I'm going to download a quantized version of Mistral 7 billion parameter model. So I'm going to use python convert.py and then hugging face path and then hyphen Q. I will put all the commands in the description below. Next, click enter. This will automatically download the quantized version of Mistral 7 billion parameter model. So now it's all ready. So all the data which we are going to train is in the data folder. So we got test train valid dot JSONL. So this is how the data will look like with text and everything else is the content. This is how the data will look like with question, table, and then SQL. So by providing the question and the table, it should automatically give us the SQL. So in this, we are going to merge the table, the columns, the question, and the answer, merge that together in one line. So every single row is a JSON object. So the initial CSV will look like this with question, table, and SQL. So we are converting this to this. So with table, columns, question, and answer. So each line will look like this. So we are going to merge this together into one line like this. So considering this is one line, each line is a question answer table. So we converted this CSV file to this data. So if you see the data folder, you got train JSONL, valid JSONL, and test JSONL. So the training data is totally 1000 rows, valid 100 rows, and test is for testing the data, which is 100 rows. So you can divide your data accordingly. If you're testing this, these files are already in those folders. So you don't need to do anything. Immediately you are ready to train your model. So we have completed the step of data preparation. Now we are going to train the model and then evaluate the model. To train the model, I'm going to use Python LoRa.py and then providing the model name, then train batch sizes one, LoRa layers is four. I only have 32 GB of RAM. So this LoRa layers and batch size works fine for me. So if you have more RAM, then you can increase these values so that your model will be more accurate. Now I'm going to click enter. This will automatically download the necessary files. 
and you can see the model is getting trained it is saving adapters every 200 steps you can see my computer usage it is peaking in regards to the GPU RAM and also the CPU usage now it is all ready it took nearly five minutes to complete and here you can see the performance now we are going to evaluate this model to do that we are just providing hyphen hyphen test to the LoRa.py file we are mentioning the model name that is Mistral 7 billion and the adapter file that is the fine-tuned adapter which got saved in the same folder now I'm going to click enter evaluation is complete and the test loss is 1.5 lower the loss it is better now we are going to see after fine-tuning how it is going to look like we are asking the same question what is Terence Rose nationality we are providing the adapter file maximum number of tokens and we are using the same LoRa.py file now I'm going to click enter now it's generating the response select nationality from and giving me the number and it's adding few more questions because it's a completion model so we might need to further tune for instruction for instruction following but our ultimate goal of making it respond with the SQL query is done the final step to upload your model to hugging face make sure you've logged into hugging face using hugging face CLI login and then enter the token which you can generate from hugging face now python hyphen m mlx lm convert provide the hugging face path of the large language model then quantize this four bits and upload repo that's the repo which you need to change then click enter now the model is getting uploaded which means this model can be used by anyone from the community i'm really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching